Hey, welcome to another video. This episode is all about painting a forest environment. You will see the whole process from start to finish. I also share my thoughts and ideas along the way. So stay tuned till the end to see how the final image turned out. My name is Victor. I'm an illustrator and concept artist, and I'm really excited to talk about this painting. All right, let's start. Okay, so the first thing I do right here is put down some very basic color on top of the canvas just because I don't like to work on an empty one. Uh, this really helps a bit, I think. And then I move on to a very simple sketch. At this stage, I worry about just the design of the main elements, their relationship between them. I'm just trying to find some interesting layout that I can illustrate. And I don't worry about anything else but composition mainly at this stage. Once I have the sketch ready, I'm moving on to some flat color. Now I know this is a forest environment and I have some references gathered up. So I go right away with some green color and I'm going to adjust it throughout the process, of course, quite a bit. But when you have references, when you know your idea, you know, ahead of time, it's easy to come with a simple base color, sort of like a starting point. I'm putting in the flat color on top of the elements from the sketch. Just trying to make sure that right now everything is readable and the connection, the relationship between shapes is interesting and balanced. I want to have big, medium, smaller shapes and I want them to be connected somehow, maybe creating some interesting secondary forms and shapes, maybe some directional force. But overall, I don't want things to be separated and spread out evenly. Now I think I'm about 20 minutes in and I pretty much have everything blocked. Uh, and you can see that the image is already quite readable. You understand the composition, you understand where everything is taking place, some basic information about the color. And having this, now I can move on and maybe describe the form a bit more, try to refine those shapes also, trying to make the composition a bit more appealing. Definitely change some things throughout the process. I'll see that, that maybe something is not you know, like really connected. You can also see me here checking it in black and white. I just want to make sure that values are all right, that everything is, you know, reading fine. Trying to test out some things here and there, trying to put those branches, maybe uh, spread them out a bit, kind of close out the whole uh, frame. Good timing to start and work with color more, adjust the values, add some details here and there, but not a lot. You can also, you can also notice that I'm pretty much zoomed out all the time. Uh, in the video, I'm making the image, you know, bigger so you guys can see everything. But in reality, I'm using maybe one quarter of my screen size. Depending what kind of resolution you guys have, it might work, it might work a bit less. But yeah, I'm trying not to zoom in. It helps a lot to see the whole image and control the whole painting, storytelling and everything else. By the way, if you're new on the channel, there are already lots of videos just like this one about the environment design, digital painting. Feel free to check them out. There's going to be a link at the end of this video. There's also a link in the description. Also, there is a free brush pack with some of my most used brushes. Link is also in the description.
All right, I think we're on the halfway mark or something like that. And I'm about to spend some time on the background and the foliage. I also think I should render out the water a little bit better and overall spend some time on describing the planes and how they react to the light basically. There is also a big elephant in the room, which is that big rock underneath our character. It's, you know, big and boring, the only way I can describe it. So in this case, you have to make it more interesting. Maybe break it down somehow, maybe create smaller shapes out of it, or maybe some interesting light pattern. I don't know, we'll see. But for some reason I was ignoring it until now, and it's annoying.
Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing. It helps a lot. Also, don't forget to ask any questions you have about the process in the comment section. Thanks again for staying till the end of the video and I really hope to see you in the next one coming soon.